Hey guys, it's Mark, the Tremor Trainer here from TremorWorkout.com. I'm doing this video to show you how I cook my eggs, or one of the ways in which I cook my eggs. It's a quick, easy way, it's healthy, and I thought, let me share this with you. I've shared pictures on numerous occasions of, you know, on social media with how I cook these eggs, so I thought, let me just do a quick video to show you. So, um, down here, what I have is my eggs. Now you notice I've got six eggs here. This is a lot of eggs. Um, when I make eggs, I usually have three eggs per meal. So this is like two meals worth I'm making here. You'll also see that I have some uh, spinach, okay? I've washed the spinach before. Depending on where you live, you may be able to get spinach that's already washed and cut up for you. Um, I got this spinach earlier this morning, so it's quick and easy, right? So let me cut these ends up, all right? Chuck that in the sink, and then I'm just gonna, that looks like a lot of spinach here, but you have to remember when you're cooking spinach, right? It's a bit like men going into a swimming pool, a cold swimming pool, you're gonna get some shrinkage. So as we cook it, um, it's gonna shrink down. So it looks like a lot, but it's gonna shrink down. So that's the spinach cut up really quick and easy, right? All right, so next step is to get the fire going for my non-stick frying pan. Now I have some organic coconut oil. I'm gonna scoop out like, kinda like a heat tablespoon because this is where I'm getting my fat from. You're getting fat from the eggs, of course, right? But um, we're also getting that nice healthy fat, fat um, with those healthy ketones that help with our brain cells and all that st good stuff, right? So um, this is the type of fat that's not gonna clog your arteries. So what I'll do is put a tablespoon, heaped tablespoon, because remember I'm cooking six eggs, and I'll get the fire going under that, kind of like a medium fire, right? And while that's getting hot, I'm gonna start beating my eggs. Um, camera lady, you wanna zoom down to where I'm doing my eggs? Quick and easy, Japanesey, right? Now, if you notice my little ball here that I'm using. It's deep for a reason, because when you start whisking those eggs, you don't want um, eggs flying everywhere. So, you know, I'm a growing lad, so I use three eggs per meal, but for those of you who wanna go with two eggs per meal, or per portion, if you wanna call it, that's perfectly okay. So that's six eggs beat, uh, cracked, and I'm just gonna beat them. There's a little bit of spinach floating around. Doesn't matter. It's all gonna be cooked together anyway, right? Okay, I'm being careful. I don't want it to. This is the first time I think I've beaten eggs with an audience. I feel strange. <laughs> I feel awkward beating eggs with the camera on me. Alrighty. I'm waiting for my pan. My, my pan has this really cool thing. It's one of those T-Fowl frying pans and it has that red dot in the center. So when it kind of all goes into one color, you know that, yep, yeah, it's ready. So that coconut oil is, you know, melting. Now what we do is put the spinach first, okay? Now you could add cheese to this, but I'm not gonna add any cheese and if you do add cheese by the way um, there's no need to then go and add salt because cheese usually has some salt but you know I wouldn't go as far as to say that man I'm a rasta man when I touch no salt but I wouldn't go that far but um, I like to minimize the amount of salt intake because salt kind of helps or well, not helps but that makes you retain water. So I try to minimize my salt intake. Not saying that I don't eat salt, but 
I keep it to a minimum. You know, when you go out eating, you can't really, most of the times, control what salt people put in their food in restaurants. But I know, I know at home, I can control my salt. But for this meal, I'm, I tend to have my eggs without salt. Okay, so that oil is good. Let's start getting that spinach into the pan. Ooh. Now remember, we're gonna get some shrinkage. I like to get it so that the spinach covers the entire base of the pan. Why, you ask? Because when I put the eggs in, I don't want the eggs to start cooking too quickly. So if the spinach is kind of like a base, um, the eggs can kind of just cook through slowly. So, you know. Yeah, there we go. You'll, watch, you'll see in a second, you'll see it cook right down. And I completely forgot to get spring onions from the supermarket, but um, usually I use spring onions. But what I'm doing now, I've got some parsley. This is just from the bottle. It's not fresh parsley, um, but it's a brand new bottle. So I'm gonna put some parsley in there as well. Okay. I'm gonna jazz it up with some Mrs. Dash or something, that's fine. Okay. More greens. Now spinach is a great source of protein and iron. It has a whole bunch of other um, vitamins and minerals. So some people are anemic and they don't have iron in their diets. Spinach is a great source of iron. All right. Now I'm cooking with a I'm cooking with a nonstick frying pan. First rule for those of you who don't know how to cook, always have something that's not gonna scratch your pan up. Okay, like a, I have this kind of wooden spatula. I'm living in Japan, so this is kind of standard in Japan kind of thing that you'll see. Um, so that spinach is cooking down. If you have a look now. See? Shrinkage. Alright. Mm, that smells good already just on its own. Now what we're gonna do is get the eggs in. Gonna spread it around. Now if I was gonna cook with cheese, I'd be adding the cheese at this point, but I'm not using cheese, because as, as I said, I'm getting fat from the eggs, and I'm getting fat from the yolk of the eggs, and I'm getting fat from the coconut oil. And of course, we're getting protein as well from the eggs, right? And protein from the spinach. So this is a great protein meal, okay? Now, I got me some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. I have stopped using black pepper when I'm cooking. I use cayenne pepper. Um, men, just so you know, bl black pepper is not good for your prostate gland, right? And prostate gland messes with your, you know, your hydraulics, right? So um, I use cayenne pepper, which is a much healthier pepper for not only men, but for women too. And it's also good for uh, boosting your metabolism, just like cinnamon is. So I'll get some cayenne pepper in there now. All right. Put as much as you want. I don't go overboard. It might look like I'm putting a lot. All right. But yeah, this is cayenne pepper added. All right. Then. I'm gonna start moving the eggs around. Start moving everything around. Now if I was gonna cook this with cheese, I'd use natural cheddar, not that crap that you, um, that highly processed stuff, um, like that square cheese, don't wanna say brands, but you know that crappy square cheese. That cheese always messed with my sinuses. I use that more naturally produced cheddar. And you see this? This is a whole bunch of green goodness right here. High in protein, iron, right? I've kept my fire not too high because I don't want it to cook too fast. 
and you know when I'm on the go for example uh, say for example I had half of this for breakfast right and I'm uh, going going out to work or whatever um, I would have my Tupperware to put the other half in because I'm gonna have that I'll, I'll let it cool down a bit first before I seal the lid of the Tupperware and I'll have this you know with some oatmeal or some brown rice or even fruit you know there, there's no rule that says you can't have this with fruit like carbs right healthy carbs uh, some sweet potato you know there, there's so many options with with this type of healthy lifestyle you can mix and match and there's also no rule either that you have to have eggs for breakfast many people have this idea that, that eggs are for breakfast and this is for lunch and they, no you can have eggs anytime you know like sometimes you know if I want to eat something like that's low carb good protein you can have eggs at night if you want to I, I tend not to uh, eat too much too late um, but you know it's all about mixing and matching you see the eggs are done it's done that was quick right I probably spent more time chatting about the cooking more than the eggs actually cooking that's done and believe you me this is so damn good right that's two meals that's that could be three meals it, you can even save it in the fridge right heat it up in a microwave right it's or heat it up in a, in a, on, a, on a pan again next day it's up to you but I like to bulk cook mm, taste it I'm not gonna put the spatula back in there if you're wondering mmm you get that spinach really tastes good and that has no salt either if you want to put salt add salt but always remember to use sea salt don't use that crappy table salt that's just gonna make you retain water around the waist area especially all right guys so let me turn that fire off thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful if you did please click like please comment please share on to the next video this is mark the tremor trainer saying peace